Well, the Washington Commanders might get the two hottest names on the head coaching and general manager market. John Kime just predicted that he thinks the commanders will hire Adam Peters and Ben Johnson. Again, just a prediction, but we're going to go over some rumors and the list of all the guys the commanders have requested to interview and the schedule for the interviews that are already happening tonight in Miami at Josh Harris's crib. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and that notification bell as well so you never miss a video. All right, so a bunch of different interview requests for GMs and for head coaches have you know gone out in the last 24 hours. It's been a crazy period, but there have been some predictions and John Kime was on the Kevin Sheehan show, I believe on radio, and was asked to make a prediction on who Washington hires. He usually doesn't you know, like to be bold like this. You know, he won't say stuff unless he really has some information about it. And I didn't hear the actual clip, but a lot of people confirmed it. So I know this is true. And last time he made a prediction, he predicted Martin Mayhew would be the GM. And that was right. So he's really good with these predictions. And of course, sometimes he's going to get them wrong. But for the most part, John Kai is pretty good and has a lot of good insight. So he predicted Adam Peters to be the general manager slash, you know, foot, you know, president of football operations and Ben Johnson to be the head coach. Those two, Ben Johnson's my number one head coach candidate by a decent amount. And then Adam Peters is on a list of like three, four guys that I really like. I really I want I would have to do more research, but like Adam Peters is really up there. Like he's in that, you know, tier one for me, along with probably Alec Hollaby, maybe like Ian Cunningham, a couple of those guys. Like they're all up there. And, you know, yeah, Adam Peters has been a very, very hot name for a while. And here's why there's some traction with it. Last year he declined two GM spots. I believe it was the Titans and the Cardinals asked him to interview for the spot. He declined both of them. We requested and he accepted within, well, I mean, I guess the report came out yesterday that we were requesting for midday, probably like 12, maybe 11. And then right after that, it was reported maybe like an hour or two after that he accepted the interview. That is telling. There haven't been any reports that he accepted the interview for the Raiders and the Chargers, I believe, both requested him to be uh, their general manager. So Adam Peters will meet uh, tonight with Josh Harris, Bob Myers, and Rick Spielman, who are his you know, advisors. And maybe Magic Johnson, some of those guys will be there as well. Uh, but tonight in Miami, hey, you know, he's going to, you know, Josh Harris's crib, which is a really, really nice house. I saw someone posted it on their Twitter. So this is huge for the commanders. Absolutely huge that they're getting an interview with the top, probably the top candidate for general manager uh, for the commanders. I don't know if it'll be him because, you know, Adam Peters is more seen as like a traditional talent evaluator versus like a more analytics guy. And I was thinking maybe Harris wanted more of an analytics guy. I'm not saying I wanted one or the other, probably honestly prefer someone like Adam Peters, but maybe they hire someone like Adam Peters. And then as his assistant, someone like Ian Cunningham or uh, Alec Hollaby as the general manager, or maybe from what I gathered from his press conference, like maybe it'll just be one guy that's the director of football operations and no GM, but they can still hire someone and elevate their role from the 49ers or something like that. But I'm very, very excited about this whole thing. Uh, they're casting a very wide net. We're going to go over all, make sure you guys stay till the end because I'm going to be going over all the names that they've requested. There's some names that not a lot of people have talked about or seen some big names, really no candidates that we, that I wanted us to interview that we haven't requested except for maybe Dave Canales, who's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers offensive coordinator. It might be a year too early for him, but I really like what he did and what he's done with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because our season isn't over. I think if he doesn't get a job this off season, because he's got a couple, at least one, maybe two interview requests, I think he'll get a job next year if he continues to do what he's doing. But looks like he won't be in the mix here. I think all like at this point, because we made so many requests, I don't see many more requests going through. Like we let let's go into it right now. All of our requests. So we made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven head coaching requests, and then one, two, three, four. 
five GM requests and there's a couple more that I'm going to be talking about later on that were reported after this. But head coaches, Ben Johnson, Dan Quinn, Raheem Morris, Mike McDonald, Aaron Glenn, Bobby Sloak, and then Anthony Weaver. Guys, I think have no shot of being the head coach. I'll say Aaron Glenn. I don't think he's going to be the head coach here. And then I mean, maybe Anthony Weaver's a wild card, but I'll say Aaron Glenn. I just don't see him being here. Maybe same thing with Raheem Morris. The other guys, I could see any of them being it. I know a lot of people don't want Dan Quinn because, you know, he's an older guy. They see Ron Rivera in him, but Dan Quinn was decent with the Atlanta Falcons. And then after that, he got fired. I don't even, I don't even remember if he got fired or he just left. Probably got fired, but he then went to the Cowboys, took them from a historically bad defense to an elite defense. He's gotten multiple head coaching offers before in the last couple seasons, off seasons, or at least has gotten offered to be a head coach. He's turned them down. And the Cowboys, again, went from an historically bad defense to one of the better, if not the best defense in the league the last couple of years with the 49ers and the Ravens. They've, you know, He's done a really good job there. Again, not my preferred guy. I think if I'm hiring a, if I'm hiring a defensive guy, the only one I really would want to hire would be Mike McDonald because he's young and, you know, he's going to be innovative and, you know, use analytics a bit. You don't want it to go overboard like Brandon Staley. But uh, out of these candidates right here, Ben Johnson's not my number one, then Mike McDonald, then probably Bobby Slowick. But, you know, Bobby Slowick also, he's had one year of play calling. So that's something you got to consider as well. But those are all the coaching candidates. That's what, seven coaching candidates? Maybe, maybe they'll interview like one more after, let's say they bring in the general manager and he wants to interview someone else, then they might interview someone else, maybe Eric Bieniemy. I don't know. And then the general managers that they've requested to interview, and I don't know if all these guys have accepted, I think actually all of these guys right here have accepted the you know interview request for the general manager spot because it's the most attractive spot. Ian Cunningham, who is the assistant general manager, I believe, with the Chicago Bears. Worked with the Eagles, though, for a while. Adam Peters, who works with the 49ers, pretty high up there. I think he's assistant GM. or They they might, they, they might try to you know promote him to general manager to try to keep him here or keep him in San Francisco. But he's up there with the 49ers. Glenn Cook with the Browns. Mike Borgonzi with the Chiefs assistant general manager there. And then Alec Hallaby, I believe, with the Eagles assistant GM or director of player personnel there. So that's all the guys that we are interviewing uh, so far. And there's a couple others that I want to get into as well, including Cowboys vice president of player personnel, Will McClay. And he doesn't have the GM title because I think that's Jerry Jones or his son or whatever. But he's the real GM and he's done a really good job there you know, drafting a lot of guys and making some good moves, making some good trades this offseason. Brandon Cooks, that was a good trade. Uh, Stephon Gilmore, that was a good trade as well. But yeah, you know, back to Will McClay would be an okay candidate, not my preferred option. Out of all these options, again, I don't hate any of these. I don't hate any of these, but if I had to pick, Adam Peters would probably be one. Like, it's really tough because these are all really good options. Glenn Cook would probably be last or second to last. Him and Will McClay are like, I think, a tier below these guys. But these are all like guys we talked about. Like in my video talking about GM hires, I talked about Adam Peters, Ian Cunningham, Alec Hollaby. We've mentioned Mike Borgonzi before. And his name kind of slipped my mind when I was making that video. But he's a guy definitely to watch as well. So, you know, we're hiring all the top guys. Or not hiring. We're requesting to interview and interviewing all all these top guys and all these interviews will be happening the next couple of days. And I'm going to be talking about when I think the, these hires will happen. I think it'll happen sometime this week. I think it'll happen sometime late this week. They're interviewing guys today and tomorrow. And all the guys that requested, they're going to still interview them. But like, let's say they're really good, they have a really good interview with Adam Peters today. It's going to be hard to sway their mind. And they might just want to you know finish these interviews up real quick and then... Yeah, they might just want to finish these interviews up real quick and then hire him and then go for the head coach. You know, he talked about it, you know, Josh Harris talked about it in his press conference. He wants a rapid but thorough process. And yeah, I think it's going to happen soon. So uh, Ian Cunningham is going to, you know, 
interview today. Uh, Browns assistant GM Glenn Cook is going to be interviewing today. Alec Hollaby is Wednesday. So yeah, a lot of guys are being interviewed. And again, Adam Peters is today. And there's a lot of more, you know, there's a lot more information coming out. So stay tuned for that. Might make a video today, later today, going over some other things. But I mean, most of the big stuff happened yesterday. So please, if you can, hit that like button, that notification bell as well, and comment something. Go ahead and comment who you want. Who do you want as general manager and who do you want as head coach? That combo. Comment that down below. It really does help out the algorithm and pushes out this video to more people. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed and peace.